Welcome back to the Storm Crow Show. My name is Josh. I'm Brady. And today is episode four of our Dungeons and Dragons experiment. I was trying to find find a word that wasn't escapade or adventure. Great. So I got one. Good. And as always, it is being hosted by the inconceivable Andy. Yep. With the fifth edition rules. Yep, and last we checked, Ian was attempting to sneak up on some of his party members so that he could talk to them. Sounds good. Let's get to it. Mm. Oh, where I, I need to talk to Jaden. I'm trying to get over to her without anybody else noticing. Mm -hmm. Particularly the one person who's not officially part of our party. Uh, 25. Wow. You manage it. Um, apparently, Amos is paying a lot of attention to Asta, hoping she'll okay. like, like his jokes, and so... As he's uh, staring him? at the cleric. I guess I have to, I have to make your perception that? check. Well, I'm trying to get her. I, I would be trying to get her attention at that point. Do, if you want to notice him before he tries to get your attention, you'd have to <clears throat> make a perception check. Otherwise, oh. no. Okay. Uh, I probably probably wouldn't be looking. I'd be watching. Do what's going I? Here. Can I have perception to see if I notice him? If you really up to want us? to, I mean. Nope. I don't notice. <laughs> I don't even sort of notice. <laughs> Yeah, apparently Amos is really charming. In his own very awkward sort of way. I find a lot of people charming. I don't know how to Did reply to that. Me? Yeah. Okay. He catches my attention. And right. I will... Should I sneak away then? or? Well, what is your response to him tapping you on the shoulder? <laughs> this would be something that I would I not... Over. Okay, I, I was going to say, I would be commu trying to connect to her. Cause this is not the first time we would have done this. Right. Yeah, do you just gesture at me like, to come away? Or? I, I am single Jay to come over. sneak away, or try to sneak away. Alright, and remember, you are standing right next to him, but he's not looking at you. Yeah. Let's see, 20? That'll do it. That'll let you walk away. I walk away. He doesn't seem to have noticed you. Very good. Jade, who is that? His name is Amos. He's the, the Fletcher guy that they told us about. He says that he wants to just help us get to the inn safely because he's worried about the goblins, was it? Yeah. That's the convenient. goblins in the area. That's convenient. I'll keep stealthing on ahead. Mm -hmm. Since he might not have noticed, well, he probably did. Mm -hmm. But he Be might not. Asta being Asta, <laughs> she calls for the party members to come here and meet Amos. How many of you are there? Oh, a few. Not too big of a group, but not too small either. Just so there's safety in numbers. There's you okay. and where's Jade? Where did Jade go? I'm gonna come back. Yeah, here's Jade. Oh, hello. Hi. This is Jade. Oh, hello. you're you're very good in the woods. That, that's surprising. Excellent. Is it? Um, She's. I look. I look around. Do I see? Do I, I see the paladin? Um. What was your last stealth roll? Twenty-five. Make your roll. Nope. Yeah, I don't. Know. Well, she's not the only one. And then there's young Reed. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, I, that, I didn't mean that how it sounded. And that's okay. And then no Ernest. offense taken. We got Ernest over here. Ernest, this is Amos. I wave. Yeah. Ian went and Ian. Ian went ahead. He's he's also pretty good in the woods, so you might not have noticed him yet. He's he's a little shy of new people. Was he the fellow in the hood? Um. Did you also wear a hood? Yes, yes. Oh, I am he's, apparently wearing two hoods. Right? Yeah, he's also wearing hoods, but Ernest would some, like of, hoods. some of them are a little bit suspicious of new people, so... Oh, well, you can't be too careful, no. especially in these times. Did something happen? Uh, well, it's not so much that something happened, but... Well, the goblins have been appearing lately, and... Other things in the in in the woods have been there, and some say the queen is dead. Wow. Does anyone say what would have killed her? I mean, it must be something really powerful. I couldn't tell you. I, I'm I'm not not what you call a well informed person. I hardly get into town. Well, um, however, you do spend a lot of time in the woods, so what can you, as someone who spent time in the woods, tell us with your perspective about the Queen of the Woods? What, what you, who, who do you think she is? What does she typically do? When have things started to change around here? Oh, well, it, it was a 
couple of years ago, I think. It wasn't really obvious at first that she was gone, but, but well, things started creeping into the woods that hadn't been there before, and, and, um, well, it's hard to say, really. I mean, I never saw the Queen. I, I have never even gotten a fleeting glance, and so I couldn't tell you where she was, or who she was, or what she really did. But lately, the woods have been getting so much more dangerous. Once I even found a walking skeleton in the woods. I, I ran, of course, but, well, it was terrifying. Later, I found that uh, a wild bear had taken the skeleton apart and started gnawing on it. So I suppose nature has its own way of protecting itself. But, yes, um, the woods have become, become more dangerous. Well, maybe it's good for you to stay with us, too. By the light of Baldur, the skeletons tend to run from me. Oh, well, that's that's nice. Well, maybe we can help you. Um, well, I, I only saw the one, and that was a year ago. I haven't seen any more since. You know, um, if there's anything in the woods that seems to be plaguing me, it's just more of, oh, less uh, solid threats, more of just a creeping... Dread. I don't know if you can help with that. Well, it's possible. Maybe, maybe you can. Oh, um, is that the inn up there? It is. Oh, there, right there. See? I don't look away from him, because I, as, as he suddenly just shouted out, is that the inn? That sounds like a great distraction. So I look immediately look back towards him. I look at the inn. There's an inn. There's an inn. Does you need to relax. Well, you don't know that is. Well, no, um, I saw, because I turned to look that way, he turned to look this way. I saw him turn his head towards this guy as I turned my head away. I, People I needed turned, to be calm and happy. I, I turned to look at the inn. Now, those of you looking at the inn can tell that it has obviously been abandoned for a while, but it was pretty well constructed to begin with. So there are creeping vines covering some of the walls, there are a few broken windows, but for the most part the structure of the inn itself is intact. It looks to be about a, a smallish two-story inn, well the, the lower story is larger, there's room for a cavern, com common room and things like that, and upstairs you'd expect there might be some accommodations up there, and it's just a few probably modest rooms. The surrounding area, well, for the most part, you're in uh, coniferous woods, and so there's a lot of pine trees about, there's a lot of, uh, well, not that much undergrowth, actually. It's fairly clean woods for the most part. Uh, the inn is very obviously in the middle of a cleared space um, that has become a little more overgrown with time. Some of the underbrush that couldn't get a foothold in the large uh, sun-obscuring trees has managed to thrive in the clearing around the inn. Mm. It looks like it could use a good mowing. Okay. Now I stopped on ahead. What I, I would have probably found the inn already. Mm -hmm. I would like to <clears throat> try to look into one of the is one of are the windows boarded up or what was this like? What are we looking at here? Um, none of the windows that you can see are boarded up. It doesn't appear that it was really um packed up. It looks like it was just abandoned in the middle of operating. Mm. Uh, presumably because there's nobody left who was a relative of the owner of the inn. Okay. So it's, for the most part, um, run down, <clears throat> but mm. the windows are all open and unbarred, except for the ones that are broken. I would like to look in one of the windows, carefully. You look in mm. one of the windows and you see a number of tables inside with mm -hmm. chairs are all around them. Uh, there seems to be a thick layer of dust coating everything. Okay. Any, any movement? Uh, you might see a squirrel. Any spiders? Uh, given that you're looking in through a window and the outside <coughs> is lighter, mm -hmm. the light is messing with your vision, so you can't see something as tiny as a spider. I made your hand to tap you on the shoulder. By him? Yeah. Okay. Um, and the, you, you, you see the mage hand go like tap, tap, and then point around the corner. Right. So you're probably still around <coughs> 60 feet away from the end. It's a bit long range then, from the end. Um, when I'm 30 feet away from the end, I intend to do this. Okay, so I have to walk ahead and not look at Amos to do this. Well, now that I've, we've established there's an end there, as my party has gone, oh, there is the building. Mm -hmm. I have established that this is true. 
Okay. So it was see. it was just an instantaneous reaction to right. So, I, I I walk on I walk up and I uh, attempt to indicate to I am that we should uh, meet around back of the inn to discuss the the, the this general state of it. Okay, so with while, with, with hand gestures I I sure. signal all that. Well, the rest of the party is um, taking care of the business in the front. You guys go around and have a party in the back. Got it. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> that is usually how this um, goes, yes. It can, now, I it was still trying to... Now, I was stealthing all the way there and would have been trying to stealth looking through the window. Right. Like, do I still need to stealth? Can I stealth around um, the back, or do I get the roll, or do I have to... Given that there's a building between you and Amos, uh, mm-hmm. you don't have to stealth to hide from him. I will head around the back stealthily just because. Right. Anybody else is looking. Um, make your roll. Stealth roll. Oh, okay. 23. All right. Ernest does not probably see you. Would you like to let him know that you're there by speaking to him or some other means of communication? Can I see him? Now, what, what yes. kind of, like, stealth are we talking here? Are we, like, are we saying that this is just one of those, you know, he's he- cleverly hiding behind a stack of logs, or he, this is, like, the uh, Elder Scrolls-style stealth, or he's actually just crouching right in front of me, <laughs> and I'm just completely oblivious to this? <laughs> That's kind of, what, what is your wisdom score? Uh, my wisdom is plus one, so... All right, then he is hiding behind something that you can't see through. All right. Can I see the rest of the party? No, there's a building between you and them. Okay. Hey, Ernest. Hey. So, anything suspicious? I don't see anyone in the woods, but you can never, you never know. I like to roll perception, I guess, to verify that. If I see for a second. Uh, nine. <laughs> You see three bunny rabbits. Oh, great. It appears to be a family. There's a mother bunny rabbit, and a father bunny rabbit, and then a baby bunny rabbit. All one baby there. bunny rabbit. Yes, one baby bunny rabbit. You have to assume that this is a rather hard place to live, because there's usually a lot more than that. So, you're, do you point this out to me? No. <laughs> um, I lament that we're probably going to be eating rations again tonight. <laughs> Given that there's only three bunnies. Well, I don't know about the bunnies. <laughs> oh, that's true. Well, if you can get Reed over here, we might be able to get the bunnies. What bunnies? I point to it's them. okay. I can just... I, I can capture them. You can? Um, how far away are they? They're about 30 feet away, shaking like leaves, scared that you're going to <laughs> eat them. What's the... Uh, what, what do we expect will be the, the backlash from the vegetarian community? Um, if you find any vegetarians in this community, chances are they're the ones getting eaten. Okay. Maybe we'll have Reed go hunt the bunnies. Well, now, I'd like to look around and see if it, I can see any signs that anyone's been here for a while. Like, is there snow on the ground? There is not yet snow on the ground. It's, okay. like, early-ish fall, I suppose. All right. I, I want to see if I can see any signs that anyone's showing up. All right, we're only survival. Will Ernest survive? Will Reed succeed in hunting the cute little bunny rabbits? Stay tuned for episode 5. I'm Brady. And I'm Josh. And this has been the Stormproof Show. Stormproof.